Hello and welcome to this week's video on Pacific Lamprey Life Cycles, brought to you by Washington Fish and Wildlife. My name is Lauren Bernschmidt and I'm a habitat biologist on the Washington State Coast. Today I'll be talking about the fascinating life cycles of Pacific Lamprey and these strange fish that call the waters of Washington home. Though commonly referred to as eels, Pacific Lamprey come from a different class in the taxonomic tree, Agnetha. The word agnetha means jawless, which helps to explain the strange mouth of lamprey. Lamprey have survived for over 450 million years, but now their numbers are dwindling. This is partially due to the lack of proper habitat and the impact it has on their life cycle. Stay tuned for another video talking all about the risks to this important species, but for now, let's jump into this life cycle. Lampreys are anadromous, meaning they spend time in both fresh and salt water, just like salmon. Lampreys spawn in fresh water and die afterwards, also like salmon, but after that, their life cycles change. Larval lamprey will stay from three to seven years in freshwater streams before heading out to the ocean. From there, they will stay in the ocean from one to three years and then head back to the streams to breed. Lamprey will wait up to a year before they make a red or nest, before dying and having their offspring carry on their genetics. Let's focus on each step in this life cycle to really understand what's happening. Let's talk spawning. The picture on this slide shows what a lamprey nest, or red as we call them at WDFW, looks like. Notice that the red is brighter than the surrounding substrate, which helps our field crews observe and record them. In this video, taken by fish biologist Lyle Jennings, you see two lamprey on the stream bottom. The lamprey are moving the rocks and gravel with their mouths to make a nest, or red, where they will lay their eggs. Since they can only move the rocks with their mouths, some rocks will be too big to move. You can see the rock in the center of this red is too big and heavy for them to move. Even if they were to try to lift it together, it would still not budge. It looks like these two are using this rock as a way to take a break from swimming in the fast moving water. When you see the lamprey wrap together and shake, like what you see now, that is the female lamprey releasing some of her eggs and the male lamprey fertilizing them. The eggs then settle in the newly disturbed part of the red and are covered. And these adult lampreys will soon leave the red and die passing on their nutrients to many other creatures and ending their life cycle. The eggs in the red will start the new life cycle. Next is larvae. Hatching 16 to 20 days after being buried in the gravel, larva lamprey will remain in the red for two more weeks before leaving and floating downstream to find a better place to live. During the three to seven years that they live in this stage, the lamprey will not have eyes making them look like earthworms with fins. The larval lamprey will choose places to live that have silt and sand on the stream bottom where they can burrow and stick their heads out. In this position, they will filter feed, eating algae, plankton, and broken down plants. In the image above, you can see part of the stream labeled type 1 and the other labeled type 2. These describe how good the habitat is for larval lamprey. Type 1 is the best habitat for the larva. They will live in habitat like this for three to seven years before they move on to the next stage of their life. Metamorphosis. During this stage in their life cycle, lampreys will use stored energy reserves to grow eyes and a flat disc mouth with rows of sharp teeth. As they gain the ability to swim better with more developed fins, the lamprey juveniles, also known as macrothalmia, will begin to head downstream towards salt water. As they make this migration, their body undergoes more changes in the organs and blood, making them suited for living in salt water. This transition and journey usually takes place from July to November every year and can be dangerous. Lamprey make a great meal for many seabirds and other fish, but they, if they make it to the ocean, a new life stage starts. I mentioned the transformation of the lamprey's mouth, and that becomes incredibly important in the next life stage, 
but it still doesn't change how scary their mouths look. Once reaching the ocean, the lamprey pool put those spiked mouths to good use, where they will latch onto fish like salmon and sometimes even whales. They will hang on to the side of their host and chew almost perfect circles into their sides. This is the way that they will spend their whole adult life in the ocean, eating and growing up to three feet long. They will stay in the ocean for one to three years before turning around and heading back to fresh water. During this life stage, lamprey will become food for many marine mammals and fish. Even birds will want in on the action. You can see a bald eagle trying to steal a lamprey from a sea lion in the picture. Lamprey are a nutritious and tasty meal, full of fats and oils. It is for this reason that when they head back to the freshwater, they move mostly under the cover of night. As they move back upstream to spawn, lamprey will encounter many obstacles. The main obstacles are man-made water crossings like dams and culverts. Though they cannot jump, lamprey can climb using their sucker mouth. While this helps scaling waterfalls and steeper streams, the lamprey still need help for passing things like dams. Giant fishways like this one in Oregon will help lamprey to swim up and around blockages. Lampreys do not always return to the stream where they hatch like salmon do. Instead, they seem to go where the most larval lamprey are. Perhaps they want to spawn where they know their babies will have plenty of good habitat to occupy. Lamprey will spend up to a year in the streams as their bodies once again change to reproduce. As they hold in fresh water and then begin to build reds, the lamprey will no longer eat, causing them to lose up to 20% of their weight before spawning. As they spawn in the springtime, generally March through July, the lamprey will pair up or spawn in groups. Female lampreys will lay hundreds of thousands of eggs, allowing the species to continue anew. This concludes our video on Pacific lamprey life cycles. I hope you learned something new today, and if you are interested in learning more about these strange fish with scary mouths, please look for more videos on lamprey from Fish and Wildlife coming soon. And remember, we can all contribute to helping fish and wildlife.